zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. As you can see behind me, I'm hanging out here at Miami Beach, Florida. As most of you no doubt realize by now is that the business environment has drastically changed, hasn't it? You know, we've transitioned from an industrial age society into an information age society. Uh, many experts are now calling this as the new economy. Really, is all that this new economy is, is a culture shift. Uh, this is, they say that this is the biggest culture shift that we've experienced since the Renaissance back in the 14 and 1500s. And so this new information age, this new economy really has uh, little to do with technology, but rather with the way that we communicate. Uh, and so what this requires of us, since people are buying, are the way that people buy is different, so the way that we have to sell has to be different as well. Now, even if we as ourselves would look at the way that we buy today, uh, it's probably different than the way that we're trying to sell. We're trying to sell the same way that we used to, you know, years back. Now, uh, even here recently, there was a, 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 an episode or part of Bloomberg TV, I don't really, uh, normally watch the news or anything like that, but I was doing some traveling to a car show in Amelia Island and uh, the, the resort that we stayed at in the morning they had Bloomberg TV when we were eating our breakfast and so I was kind of stuck watching it. Uh, but they had one of their experts on there that said that, that advertising and, and marketing is dead. And it's not that advertising and marketing is dead, it's, it's the way that we do it is dead. You know, so many times, so we've gone through a culture shift again and so uh, a lot of you may be using Craigslist as an example. So you're taking what you are doing in the yellow pages uh, through newspaper and magazine ads and then trying to bring it to modern technology. So again, this really has less to do with technology than the way that we communicate. Now, the internet technology is all it is. It's a, it's a tool to be able to broadcast our message to the masses. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take you to my computer and show you that the advertising and marketing is not dead, but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna to adapt to this new economy, how we're gonna be able to adapt to this. Again, because the way that people are buying is different, so the way that we have to sell is different. So uh, again, if people are not responding to your ads like they once did, I'll, I'll show you what the solution is to that. Okay, so this is what we've typically done. Now again, as we all know, the marketplace is filled with a bunch of potential customers. So the question is, how do we get access to those potential customers? Now the answer is, we advertise our businesses in areas that already gets a lot of eyeballs, gets a lot of traffic. Now if you've run your business for many, many years, uh, maybe started your business in the 70s or the 80s, uh, the Yellow Pages was that answer. The Yellow Pages was a, was a piece of media that already got a lot of traffic. So this is the way that our advertising had always gone. So we take this group of potential customers, we expose them to our ad, they come through our ad, they look at our ad, they visit our place of business, they call us, they uh, do whatever it is that they need to do in order to buy our products, and we're all happy. They got their products and we got paid, right? And everything was, was fine and dandy at that point. However, again, we have gone through a culture shift, and this is why Bloomberg says that advertising is dead. Again, it's not advertising that it is, is dead. It's the way that advertising has been typically done is dead. So we've gone from an, an industrial age society into an information age society. So let's look at this over again. So again, we wanna capitalize on the marketplace. The marketplace is already going to pieces of media that already has a lot of traffic. And let's say that you're still an old schooler. Uh, you could use Google, you could use anything, you could use the internet. Uh, you could still even use, use the Yellow Pages. Now it's not as effective as Google or some of these other marketplaces, but because of maybe your clientele, you still might decide to use the Yellow Pages. But what happens from here, right? You need to provide content because you need to do things to stick out in the marketplace, to make yourself different, to make yourself stand out. Because all the Yellow Pages ads, it, all, all Google ads, most ads all look the same. So you need to do something to be able to get yourself to stand out in the marketplace. Now, they have an expression, uh, this, this phrase was even coined by, by Bill Gates, and it said that content 
is king. The way that we sell, and this is even the way that we used to sell way back in the, the, the 20s, 30s, and 40s, is we provided information. They had newsletters, they had uh, little pamphlets that they give out, and that's how that they sold products. Well, because of the internet age, we're going back to that type of thing because the marketplace, like I said, is so overwhelmed with so many different options, people get confused. And typically it takes somebody, somebody starts looking when they're in a thinking process, they start looking anywhere between 18 to 24 months before they go ahead and buy something. So what we want to do is we want to use text messages and SMS messages and mobile marketing. We've already talked about this in a previous video. We also want to use email, email newsletters, push marketing. And again, we're going to provide free information and entertainment information that highlights the importance of why a person should buy our products and services. Well, they might, that might not be enough for them. They they might even need more so we might want to use blogs like WordPress and you might want to use YouTube videos and Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter and Facebook and exposing our potential customers to this type of information that way we can develop this trust and this is the real issue of of why the culture has shifted because everybody is saying the same type of thing and they're over glorifying themselves and they're saying that we're the cheapest we're the best and they're just have this really really big ego about themselves and so what we have to do is we have to not say that we're the best but we have to demonstrate it by the type of content that we provide them. Again, free information, educational information that highlights the importance of why a person should go ahead and buy our products and services. Now, I do hope this information was helpful. I had a blast filming this video for you here today at Miami Beach, Florida. But take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Now, if you'd like some help putting this into action and like to see how to double your income from your current customer base and see how a local business did this and made $138,460 in only four days by doing this, just click on the link on the side of this video or if you, you can also click on where it says click here or you can visit prostarprofits.com forward slash missionpossible.html and if you'd like more tips like this, just click on the little subscribe button and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. One more thing, stay healthy, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.